Just a quick look at some more bandoliers here. I know I did a real quick little video on it there on the reload. Oop. But uh, you see the American version, a different cloth. You can use it. You can peel off this white paper and use it as a mag holder, which is kind of novel, but I don't believe it holds the rounds in as well, as opposed to the British version. How many pockets did I say? Five? Yeah, it was right. These have the snap on them. That's why I prefer them. It's not exactly an easy thing to pop either. So right inside you can just leave your ammo on stripper clips and you don't have to worry about the cardboard like on the American. And you'll notice it's a it's a nicer, more weatherproofed material. And the strap is a little thinner, but it feels like it's a better material. So these a lot of times you'll see it. I think it says Remploy Pool DRG number and a QV with a lot. So this one's from '92. You'll find all different dates, but these things are really, really nice, and they carry another mags worth. So if you had to only grab one, I'd rather get five mags worth than four mags worth. So just a little quick update on those. You see, they fold up pretty well for storage. You can fit a lot of them into a 50 caliber ammo can to keep them out of the weather. And there's no sense in having bandoliers unless they're full. So was it two, four, five, six of them there? The American's 240. What was this? 30. 600 in these four. So 840 rounds could grab and go in a second. Not that I'd want to carry that many of them, but you guys get the idea. If something really went bad, I could hand somebody a rifle, hand them a bandolier and some magazines, and off they could go to do what they do. A lot easier than trying to hand them loose ammo or make them run with an ammo can, because we all know how quiet that is. All right, just a quick update. Thought you guys might like to see the other version. I prefer the British one myself. All right, stay safe.